Ohayou gozaimasu. Bom dia. Good morning to everyone, the, the few ones that are with me here in the room, but also uh, to those that are uh, remotely following us. Um, also, good, good evening and good afternoon <laughs> for those in different time zones. Thank you for attending um, our open forum. This open forum called the, uh, named as CGI.br's collection on internet governance. Um, five years later, um, our, our um, intent with this session is to build upon um, a previous work that we have been done and also that have been presented here uh, at the IGF to this community and to, to also advance these dialogues, uh, advance some discussions, advance partnerships, and so on. Um, so I'll just uh, make a brief start and uh, a brief description of, of what are we um, doing here and um, what are the, the main concerns we have and uh, a bit of history, but very brief, and then we go to the uh, main presentation. Thank you. So um, this open forum, as I said, uh, draws upon a previous open forum that was held at, at the IGF 2017 in Geneva. Um, in that one, more than five years ago, almost six <laughs> right now, uh, called Memory and Documentation in Internet Governance, the challenge of building collections. Uh, we described our history and the importance of building collections, shedding light especially to initiatives focused on developing internet governance. It was a very interesting session, um, which provided a productive debate between participants and rich inputs on documentation processes and challenges in creating collections on internet governance. Um, that time, uh, the open forum was co-organized with the Internet Corporation for Assigned Names and Numbers, ICANN. Uh, as means to exchange views and experiences within the initiatives of both organizations in terms of memory and collections in internet governance. Uh, ICANN um, emphasized its initiative focused on documenting, organizing, and preserving institutional information and memory. In that time, ICANN was also um, uh, releasing and, and launching a new initiative together with us. Um, as we, as the Brazilian Internet Steering Committee, CGI.br, uh, presented our initial efforts to design a specialized library on internet governance. We first introduced to the IGF community at that time uh, what we were planning and had recently deployed within CGI.br regarding documentation, memory, and collection in internet governance. Um, we also shared our experience on CGI.br's documentation and outreach initiatives, including our publishing initiatives, which covered different books and other publication formats, uh, as well as various CGI.br's official documents. Um, so, some questions uh, really guided us back then in that discussion. And I think it's very uh, uh, important to mention that uh, those questions also now for us to, to move forward. Uh, so, in that time, we were talking about how do we establish practices, processes, and technological tools to organize and retrieve information in internet governance fields. Uh, what are the particularities and challenges of managing and retrieving information about internet governance? This was the core of discu the discussion uh, in, in, in that moment. Um, these concerns emerged from uh, the interest in creating a collection to organize, preserve, and retrieve information produced um, in this field. Uh, of course, we are, were dealing specifically with uh, our activities at the, as the background, so the activities of our organization, but we were also trying to um, to envision how this experience could uh, dialogue with other initiatives, other organizations, other types of work. Um, from that time until now, uh, the, pro the project has evolved in many aspects, um, and the debate on the session, uh, the session back, that allowed us to advance in the project to create and develop CGI.br and NIC.br collections. So we, we at the Brazilian Internet Steering Committee and the, Net, the Brazilian Network Information Center, we started to, uh, to grow this, uh, this set of tools, practices, methodologies, and, uh, um, and also contemplating more and more activities and types of publication, types of content, um, and trying to organize them all.
So um, this time we we are we, we are now at this session to uh, to show to you to present um, how this work has been evolving uh, since there, and and what are the 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 main achievements of this work until now, and what are the main concerns we have um, at this moment, but also looking further. What are the challenges we are looking ahead, and how do we expect to to um, to address them in the short and long term? So this is this is more or less the the intent of the session, the um, the basics, I would say. And, and I I will pass now the word for uh, the floor to my colleague Jean, that will uh, present um, the actual status of our project right now, uh, and then we will get back to the audience and hope to have some sort of conversation uh, with those interested in these themes um, and maybe some questions and answers <laughs> and we are available to uh, any sort of dialogue. Thank you, Jean, the floor is yours. Thank you, Vinicius. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, to attending our open forum, TGI Collection on Internet Governance, five years later. Uh, my, role, my, whole, my role here is to uh, report how it's going uh, since uh, the, the previous open forum five years ago. And uh, the idea here is to report the, 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 uh, the main activities um, of our collection. Um, so uh, CGI.br activities include the production and dissemination of information on the use of development of internet in Brazil through its operational arm, the Brazilian Network Information Center, NIC.br. Uh, there is a wide variety of materials created by TGI and NIC.br, such as books, guides, reports, minutes of CGI.br meetings, resolutions, and technical notes and other outreach materials. Uh, during the pandemic, uh, the number of audiovisual content has also grown significantly. Uh, many events moved to the online format and the videos, for example, were made available on YouTube Nick BR channel. Um, and uh, different areas uh, in Nick.br uh, also start producing different contents, for example, podcasts. And in order to not risk our efforts to be just on more out of so many books, videos, images, and sounds, we developed permanent and well-established documentation process to preserve and make all that content available to Brazilian audience. Uh, so I would say that we have mainly three pillars that support the, the develop, development of CGI collection. Uh, the first pillar is the documentation of CGI.br activities, which involves organization, classification, and retrieval of minutes, res resolutions, and other activities carried out by CGI.br. All, uh, all the official documentation produced by CGI are made available online in our website. Um, Another aspect involves the documentation, recording, and preserving memory of CGI.br's activities and process. Making them reco recoverable is one of the main challenges. It's necessary to thematically, thematically sort and catalog this internal information for use in CGI.br process, enhance its transparency, and make it accessible to anyone interested in referencing or repurposing this content. For example, researchers, students, and anyone that would uh, to understand how TGI works and how what TGI do. And the second pillar encompasses our publications. For instance, uh, CGI.br uh, book series. Uh, this is uh, just a, a, an example that uh, the publication that we we made. Uh, CGI.book 
CGI.br book series is a book collection that started uh, in 2014, focuses on references and studies on internet governance in both printed and online format. Uh, this series had a significant impact on the local community. Uh, these book collections aim to provide the community with access to essential references for internet governance. Uh, when they doc the documents are not available in Portuguese, one of the steps include translating these documents, these contents into Portuguese. Uh, just to mention some interesting examples, we have translate the WISIS declaration, uh, was the first, the first uh, CGI book uh, series that we published. Um, the Jovan Korbaliha uh, books, an Introduction to Internet Governance, it's a, a very important reference to, to, to understand uh, what is internet governance, uh, was a, a, a cooperation with Diplo Foundation. Uh, we have translated some reports through collaboration with the Internet and Jurisdiction Policy Network, for example, the Global Status Report uh, and other documents. And this publication, these publications are sent to a large number of libraries in Brazil, uh, or libraries partner network that receives CGI and NICBR publication has approximately 700 entities across country, including university uh, libraries, public libraries, libraries of research institutions, uh, institutions from sec uh, third sector, civil society, and the business sector, among others. Um, the books are also adopted by different capacity building initiatives in different parts of Brazil, such as universities, schools, and others. So these publications are very important to, to, uh, in different contexts um, in Brazil. Uh, furthermore, it's worth um, underlining that CGI and NICBR embrace an open access model. So, our publications are freely available for download on your website under a Creative Commons license. Um, the, third, the, the, the project third pillar involves design a physical space to house the physical collection and support the community interested in internet governance subjects. In this sense, we have worked worked on creating a space with a specialized physical library, which brings together reference printed pieces on the most diverse topics in internet-related activities and areas of knowledge. Uh, this library is based at nic.br headquarters. Uh, what work in this way has been to conduct a bibliographical survey monitoring the bibliographical production on internet governance and related subjects to integrate it to the collection. So we, we are permanently obtaining the, these this new books, new publications on internet governance. Uh, currently, the library has about 1,300 items uh, we have been prospecting the main academic bibliographic production related to internet subject, uh, technical, social, legal, uh, and others. Uh, reports, periodicals, technical documents as well. And also to document and store the entire CGI and NICBR bibliographic production. So the, the idea is that the library um, protect and preserve the production of TGI and NIC.br. So it's a diverse collection uh, reflecting the internet's interdisciplinarity. The library also support NICBR teams in their activities. Uh, it is so, it's also an education, educational resource useful for our capacity building initiatives such as the Brazilian Internet Governance School and the Youth Brazilian Program, so they can use this library. Um, 
So considering these three pillars, uh, the project sec uh, second phase aimed to identify and sort the materials produced by CGI and Nick.br Nick Nick .br, and estimate the amount of digital items and other materials. And then from there, prospect tools and standards for organizing and making these materials available. Um, so, so considering these three pillars, documentation, publishing, and design the physical library, the following step of the project was to focus on identifying specialized infrastructure for creating and manage, managing collections. So we, we, we have been working a lot in prospect and, uh, and choose good tools to, to create this collection, to, ma to make it uh, useful. Um, so at this stage, the support of the Brazilian Institute of Information and Science and Technology, EBICT, was essential. EBICT uh, is a federal institutional is organization in Brazil that gave us free consultation and support on exploring suitable tools and standards for creating, managing, and making information services available. Uh, EBICT also guided us to identify cataloging good practice and standards for bibliographic items and digital objects. And considering the amount of existing materials, uh, their formats and the project proposal of organizing and enhancing their retrievability, uh, the necessity for the following technology was noted during the process. Uh, we need a, a integrated library system used for book description and cataloging, creating of the online catalog for search and a system that make it possible for users to borrow books uh, for the, uh, that allow the, the, the users using the, the physical library. Uh, a digital repository to register, sort, and organize digital materials and make them available in a structured way. Uh, we need a specific software to establish uh, interrelationship between authors, their affiliations and production and subjects. Uh, we, we need a tool that supporting interoperability, interoperability standard was uh, was a, a, fa a factor that we use, uh, support standards that enable the exchange of data and metadata across systems, uh, uh, creation and management vocabularies, uh, vocabularies uh, and metadata models are essential to, to, to the standard, standard to, to make the, the, the records uh, standardized uh, and indexing. Database integration, uh, we, we need a tool that integra integrates different platforms into a single search interface. So uh, we choose open source and free software, it was our philosophy. Uh, we choose software specialized in collection management that had a large number of users mean that uh, software that many libraries use this, this tool. Um, so just to briefly mention some of softwares we have been using. Here is just a, a representation of the, some tools that we use to create and manage the, the, all this, this content. Uh, this uh, Acora, Cora. <laughs> A library system that provides online catalog of the physical collection, uh, leading books, lending books, and managing all library activities. Uh, it's an open source software uh, that has a large and active, active community of libraries that use it. So it's a, a, a tool that a lot of libraries in the world using, use, use this, this software. Uh, this space, it's a software for creating digital 
repositories. Uh, this space can be used to manage and make digital objects available, including ebooks, videos, audio, and other documents formats. Um, many academic institutions around the world widely adopt this space. In Brazil, uh, a lot of university adopt this space to, to create digital collections. Uh, on this platform, we make the files available and describe the subject and the authors using Dublin Core Standard to describe the, the, the files. And it also supports interoperability with other systems. Uh, Thematris, it's a web application on creating and managing vocabularies and taxonomies. Uh, Viewfind, finally, is a discovery tool that integrates all these databases through a single search interface. So it's a, a tool that uh, allows the user to search in the in the in the all this browse in this all this database. So, uh, in addition to our physical library, uh, repository development has advanced recently. So uh, we ha we have the physical library, but the repository is uh, is under construction. But uh, we we hope. We plan to launch it uh, soon, making all Brazilian IGF materials available in an uh, organized and indexed as collection. Uh, in, it includes the workshop reports, the videos. It is a strategy to increase the visibility of uh, the visibility and the impact of workshops and other materials of the Brazilian IGF. It's just a, a print screen of the collection. Uh, the, the repository interface, it's under construction. Uh, it's a work in progress. Uh, the, the, the repository allows to create uh, some collection, sub-collection, sub -collection and, and, uh, and, and uh, for example, this is a collection of the Brazilian IGF, we list the our edition, and each edition has the the materials, videos, reports, and uh, presentations. Uh, it's just a uh, it's it is uh, our last edition of Brazilian IGF. Uh, is a record. So uh, this is. Or Koha interface is the catalog. Uh, the users can search in this in this box and uh, know what titles and books we 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 have. Uh, so the collection has been growing in relation to the physical uh, library. So that we will expand the physical space. In, in the future, it will be an open space in which the community can not only access our specialized collection, but also receive support to search and retrieve specific information efficiently, and taking full advantage from library's vast collection. So we, we, the, in the future, the idea is to open this physical library for the community. Uh, we aim to expand interaction with the Brazilian community. Our collections is quite unique. Uh, researchers, students, and practitioners, among others, will benefit from this library. So, um, so uh, we hope that um, people from civil society, uh, from private sector, uh, can can use this library in the future. Uh, so uh, some challenges we are facing, uh, for example, the vocabulary, the vocabulary construction, uh, the standards to, to make vocabularies uh, is the main challenge that we, we, we deal every day. Most, most cataloging process and software require, require standard, standardized terms, building controlled vocabularies, 
is a challenge in internet governance as a whole. In your previous open forum in 2017, this topic was pointed out as a barrier in general for retrieving information in internet governance. One of the main challenges we face is the availability of collaborative and shared controlled terminology in internet governance and related subject. So we are working on a vocabulary in the internet governance area, focus on semantic retrieval of digital materials. Um, and uh, another challenge concerns the open source set of tools we adopt. They are very robust and meet our needs, but uh, they perform equal to or even better than pri private software. However, there, there is a significant complexity it, in its implementation, development, and maintenance. Uh, but we believe that th this open source set of tools are also an important way to integrate our collection with other collection, establish network with other organizations, and spread more efficiently TGI and NIC.br materials. At the same time that we also have access to new and different publications and materials from partner organizations. Uh, so, just to conclude my presentation, uh, the, the project, uh, I would like to highlight that the project has a potential for many collaborations. We are open to exchange experience, sharing what we have been learning on building our collection, or struggle with these this tools. Building an internet governance vocabulary is, is also on of the project next step. Uh, it will be become a first pillar of the project. The idea is to create a multilingual vocabulary which allows us to index materials in a standardized, structured manner. This work requires stakeholder collaboration. Our purpose is also to always uh, be in dialogue with the IGF community, so we believe it's essential to build a, uh, a track on collection in this forum. So, thank you. Now we are open to comments and questions. Thank you. Thank you, Jean. Um, well, this this was the uh, overall presentation um, of our project and the actual status of it. Um, I think, uh, ah, but <laughs> before any, anything else, let me just correct something that I just forgot to, to do at the beginning. Let, let us introduce ourselves. <laughs> my, <laughs> my name is Vinicius. I'm here actually replacing Hartmut Glaser, that, that guy that you are um, just reading on the session description. Uh, he, he is the, the executive secretary of, of CGI.br in Brazil. He couldn't come here, and I'm replacing him as the moderator of this session. Um, uh, we, we have many colleagues here from NIC.PR and CGI.PR, from the advisory team and also from sp specialized departments of NIC.PR, uh, departments that produce a lot of knowledge and a lot of materials uh, that are inside of this scope we are uh, just discussing here of how to, to sort, classify, and, 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 and um, spread, and so on. Um, Jean, that just presented uh, uh, the actual status of this project, is the, the coordinator of the, uh, this project in, in, in NIC.br, CGI.br. Um, we also have Amanda with us. Uh, she's together with him in this project and will be uh, helping us with the, the good report for this session for us also to be able to index this report. <laughs> In the, uh, within the, the, the set of tools Jean was just proposing. Well, uh, just to, to pass the, um, the floor to uh, any interested um, um, person to um, make questions, uh, I would just like to, to say that um, this, this session is very important for us because we, we do think that this is a, a subject that is um, uh, not very much discussed 
and we we do we do believe that it, this is very important. Um, for example, uh, the day uh, um, yesterday we had uh, that main session on future of digital governance, and we had a a, a member of the uh, the libraries ecosystem uh, making a question, and we were just chatting with him uh, after the uh, the session and chatting about. Uh, these initiatives and, and, and other discussions related to, to libraries and access to knowledge. Um, the, the Libraries Coalition uh, is a, a very important and in, in, is a very important coalition in the history of the IGF. Libraries had a, a very important uh, role uh, in, in, in to the internet and throughout its history, uh, mainly to in, in in terms of access to to the internet for some time, and now mainly to for the access to knowledge as we know. And, and this is some something that we are trying to to also integrate in the scope of this discussion we are bringing here to the IGF community. So the floor is open for questions. So if someone has uh, comments, questions, please feel free to, to ask for, for the floor. And we have uh, Alexandre, we have Everton, um, and that's it. Uh, so please, Alexandre, feel free to. Everton is open. <laughs> Thank you. Is it? Yep, it works. Well, good morning. Thank you, Jean, for the presentation. Thank you, Vinicius, Amanda. Um, I just would like to make more a comment than a question. Um, we often we oftenly see many Brazilians joining uh, internet governance related events uh, all over the world, and I just would like to emphasize how important it is to have contents available for the audiences that we deal with and and the collections. The CGI.br collections uh, is a great example of that because it helps so much to qualify uh, the Brazilian audience uh, in order for them to reach out to, to to participate, to engage in processes, in internet uh, governance related processes in a much higher level than if they just showed up uh, completely new to the environment. So CGI.br. Uh, collections play a uh, very important role for the community in growing that uh, uh, qualification for the audience in Brazil. So that's more a comment than a question. Thank you. Thank you. Alexandre, please. Yes, uh, good morning, after, everyone. Okay. And congratulations, uh, Jean, for this amazing uh, project. And I would say that since the last uh, IGF in Geneva that uh, you have mentioned, you've really made a huge progress in um, systemi systematizing all this um, documentation. And it is, for me, a good example to be followed by other um, internet governance structures. I would say that uh, besides the very, this very good work that you have been leading, uh, this should be uh, the basis for a future, a more robust project on um, internet data archive which is really uh, very important, um, not only for researchers and uh, policymakers, but the whole uh, civil society community. Um, so this is a very quick comment. And my question is, um, since we are dealing with non-structured uh, type of data, documents and uh, publications, have you ever uh, thought of um, using machine learning algorithms to um, categorize this type of documentation based on the taxon taxonomy. I'm asking that because um, uh, at the OSD AI Policy Observatory, they do have um, an algorithm that will, based on that given taxonomy, categorize all the documents related to AI, such as uh, national strategies or regulatory frameworks or legal frameworks and also technical doc documentations. Um, this would really enhance even more the great potential that uh, the work you, are, you have been leading in terms of um, constructing this uh, database uh, and do documentation. Thank you, Alexandre. Uh, yes, I think uh, it's a good question. Uh, yeah, we, 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 we are trying to, to prospect how this tools and good practice on um, organizing data and materials. We, we are working now in, in text and videos, but we have a huge challenge 
uh, uh, about uh, data. Uh, Nick BR produced in, in, in a lot of data, but we need a, we need a, a tool and standard to uh, use um, this data more efficiently or extract uh, good insights from this data and uh, a good a, a, a big challenge is uh, describe, um, preserve, and make it uh, reusable. Uh, uh, apply other uh, standards, specific standards for data he use and and uh, and and share this data. So I think it I think it's a uh, 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 our next our next uh, phase of the project. How to 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 collect and preserve and make this data useful. Thank you, Alexandre, for the question. Thank you, Jen, for the answer. Raquel, do you want to get the microphone? Yes, uh, so please. I also want to make a question. And uh, uh, so for the record, my name is uh, Raquel Gato. I'm also from Nick BR's team. But this is a, an individual capacity question. Um, for Jean and Vinicius, thank you very much. And Amanda, for, for uh, your work and the presentation. But um, my, my question is for someone who is listening and is inspired right now you know, to, to replicate what you were doing. Uh, and taking into consideration the five years lesson learned that you have, uh, what would be the tips uh, for someone to to start this project? Um, if you have like two or three takeaways that uh, could help uh, someone to to uh, to replicate. Thank you, Raquel. Uh, that's a very good question. So. Uh, in, in fact, it's a it's a, a long way. Uh, we we try to because we 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 try to apply uh, standards and practice from uh, library studies, information studies field, and I it, it's not a, the, the, the library studies is not a, a field that has a, a good interface with internet governance. So, but th this field ha has a lot of tools and uh, standards, open source tools, open source uh, softwares that can help organizations uh, to organize this, this, this huge of this amount of content that internet governance produce all the time. Uh, so I think we need dialogue with this community. For example, in Brazil, uh, as I mentioned, Ibict helped us a lot because they had expertise to identify uh, the, 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 the right to the right standard. And, uh, and some of the, these, these tools are for free. Uh, but there is a challenge because uh, we, need, we need knowledge to understand, to, to programming to code this 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 tool so we need interface with the technical community uh, and I think it's this and uh, the other the other uh, other challenge is the um, internet governance community produce a lot of books reports but they, uh, we don't have a uh, a, a standardized uh, identifiers. We don't have. Do we don't use uh, codes to, to to that allows recover this content. So a lot of things uh, we lost this content, and so we need to use this this uh, digital object identifiers, different different ways to recover and preserve this this content. I don't know if I answer your question. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I'll just pass the floor to Alexandre, but just a brief comment. Uh, I'm the moderator, but uh, I, I would also to <laughs> like to, to make a comment. Um, um, just building on what Jean just said, and also from some parts of his presentation, um, it, I think uh, there is a word that is very important for uh, many things related to internet governance, and it also applies to to um, this discussion here about uh, information and archiving and so on. Uh, partnerships. 
we, we, we do need partnerships and collaboration. P partnerships and collaboration are the basis for uh, many of our work within internet governance and, and, and it's not different from this, this kind of project we are discussing here. Uh, if, we, if it was not for the partnerships we had, like, like Jean mentioned, uh, we, we, we probably uh, would have had more difficulties and more barriers to, uh, to be able to implement and to deploy things uh, related to this project. And, and, and this is a work in progress, <laughs> as he also mentioned, and we still need <laughs> a lot of partnerships and collaboration to, to move forward. Alexandre, please. Uh, just a curiosity, Jean, because uh, we've seen that um, many organizations like ISO or even OSD are uh, working on taxonomies for different er specific, specialized areas, such as uh, AI, or even ISO is working on a taxonomy for ICT in health. But I, I haven't heard uh, yet any type of initiatives to create a taxonomy on gov internet governance. So it's just a curiosity if you have an idea, if there is only one working on this type of uh, uh, creation of a taxonomy, and as uh, Vinicio has just said, I strongly believe that this is a collaborative type of initiative that uh, to build um, um, uh, a, a taxonomy based on uh, many stakeholders uh, building this type of taxonomy. Do you have an idea if this exists or not? Yeah, uh, as I mentioned, um, the, the, the library studies and information science um, have this kind of practice, but internet governance, uh, since I, uh, 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 five years ago, ago uh, every edition, in IGF edition, there is a session or a, a, a workshop or a DC that try to discuss how to build uh, or to build a, a, a vocabulary or taxonomy in internet governance. But I think there is a, a the community struggle, struggle, uh, what is this? What we need? Uh, how to, because internet governance is a, it's a diverse field. So we need a lot of collaboration, a lot um, subjects and specialized specialized knowledge, but uh, we need discuss in, in IGF, uh, create a more open forum, uh, maybe a workshop to try to 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 bring the community from information science, from technical community, and and other stakeholders to 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 think about. Uh, how to create uh, a vocabulary, and I think it's Im important to important uh, community think about what is internet governance. It's a area, it's a field. So when we th think in terms of uh, it's a, a, a field of knowledge, we need ter terms, we need uh, we need concepts, we need. Uh, we need to understand the boundaries to, to identify uh, what what we are. So I think I'm philosophy a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Um, okay. Please. Good morning. My name is Winston Roberts, and the first thing I must say is to apologize for my late arrival. I, was, I have been unwell. I tried to send a message to Everton, but uh, the phone call didn't go through, so uh, apologies for that. Um, I'm, because I'm not well, I don't want to speak a lot, but on the other hand, I am tempted to speak a lot because I, I should, because I am here on behalf of the International Federation of Library Associations, IFLA, and we are heavily involved in internet governance in the IGF process as one of the uh, multi-stakeholder community. Um, I am not prepared for this session uh, because I had not really uh, planned to attend it. Uh, however, thanks to Everton's invitation, I have come along and 
I seem to have arrived just in the middle of a very interesting discussion about libraries. So this is an interesting coincidence. But the question is, what do you mean by libraries? Um, libra the library sector is like any global professional sector. It has, um, it has regions and sub-regions and categories and types. It has technical standards for all its different types of op operations. And we, when we talk about technical standards, we tend to mean um, standards for performance, standards for uh, service delivery. Um, we, we also mean uh, standards for processes within libraries, but that's not of great concern to you, I think. Uh, one area of standards that does concern us is coding, but I'm not an expert in that, so I won't comment further. I think the main thing to say is that we do have, I, I disagree with the previous, one previous speaker who said there is not really an interface between your sector and libraries. I, I don't agree with that because we cannot deliver our services without using the internet. We cannot possibly do that because all our services depend on certain applications of the internet and the transmission of our information services depends on the internet. We don't use physical transport so much anymore, we use the internet. And, you know, um, if you regard a library as a building with books, then it cannot disseminate its information without using the internet. On the other hand, a library is not anymore just a building with books. The library is a motor for generating information and disseminating information and it has to use the internet and therefore it has to use <coughs> excuse me the, the li libraries use the internet as a as a platform we provide content services to um uh to, to we put content on the internet we deliver we mediate between uh the internet uh service providers and our users and we provide information to our users. We, get, we help, them, help them understand the purpose of the internet. We help them understand, evaluate information they find on the net. We help them um, develop digital literacy and information literacy, which means learning how to understand the truth or untruth of the information they find on the net, how not to be fooled and how to use it constructively. We have a lot of things in common with the technical community. One of those is um, the inclusion of all sectors of society in the information ecosystems that we have today. Uh, inclusion of all, regardless of whether they are men, women, children, regardless of their beliefs, their religions, their, their race, their anything. We do not discriminate. Information services are support for democracy and we educate our children using these information services. But also, in education, we need the internet. Internet is used in schools, in school libraries. Not just in textbooks, but in information services which are online in classrooms, at least in many countries. So, uh, I, I feel I, um, I'm turning into a, a professor in this comment. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to come along and talk like an academic. Um, what I Please suggest you do is, if you want to know more about IFLA, then you look at our website, which is www.ifla.org. It's based in the Netherlands. It has a secretariat in the Netherlands and the my microphone's not working um, one of our two of our uh, senior people from headquarters are from the secretariat are here at the IGF 
One of them is uh, Maria de Bradefer. She's uh, Mexicana, but she speaks many languages. If you, I'll give you her name. No, not not that. But um, I'll give you her email to to you, the secretary or somebody, if you like. But we also have uh, you could you could email her to ask her details, and. Um, you could also email our policy director, Stephen Weiber, whose name you will find on the internet as well. Stephen, with PH, uh, not V, Stephen, PH. Um, you could email him to ask about uh, our policies on the internet, but particularly look at information on our website about the Internet Manifesto, which we are developing. We published our Internet Manifesto 10 years ago. It's being updated now because of all the new technical developments. Things go very fast, as you know, and a 10-year-old manifesto is very out of date. But remember that we are developing a manifesto for uh, libraries, not for you, but for libraries. So we're trying to tell our members what the internet is, how it is important for them, for their societies. But it's also important for you to understand how we use the internet services that you are developing. So the two sectors have a, a strong interface, intellectually and, and politically, uh, in terms of policy, I mean. Uh, another thing is that we have a regional uh, committee for Latin America and the Caribbean, IFLALAC, and the you'll find information I can't give you I, I don't want to give you names and addresses and emails now in this session but look on our website and you'll find the uh, details of our regional committee and the members the chair and secretary and the regional office and I think you should contact them and ask them all the questions you would like they, if they don't know the answers, they will refer them to headquarters. But we are heavily involved in the, the policy process with the multi-stakeholder community. In, in, in we support this um, IGF process. We have been doing this since it started in 2005. Okay, I've said enough, and my th I'm going to start coughing if I keep talking, so <laughs> apologies again. If you want to ask me questions after the session, feel free. Thank you. Thank you, Winston. Um, thank you for your intervention. And, and don't worry, uh, we were actually talking about libraries, yeah, really, and you just arrived at a very, very, um, um, very good moment. Um, well, um, you, you, you could not uh, be in the first, session, first, first, first part of the session, but the, the session was actually um, um, presenting, uh, uh, was about presenting our project in terms of uh, how it is in terms of status and also uh, discussing uh, some of its challenges in terms of uh, developing, advancing, but also in terms of uh, collaboration and partnership as we were just discussing when you arrived. So your intervention uh, regarding IFLA, that, that is something we, we try to follow as well uh, within the, 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 uh, the ecosystem and also the Dynamic Coalition on Libraries. Uh, all of this, uh, we, we are ac actually following the, the developments as well. So all of this is, uh, is very connected. So thank you very much for your intervention. Um, Diogo, you had a, a question or, or a comment? <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yeah, it's working now? Okay. Good morning. It's not a question, it's just a, a comment or I, an idea. Uh, because uh, Ale Alexander uh, mentioned about uh, ta taxonomy and so on, and also uh, machine learning algorithms. Mm -hmm. And we see, I mean, we are in a new way uh, since the beginning of the year with uh, large language models. And I do think uh, you could explore like large language models on this process because we see many research from the technical point of view, uh, possibilities of using large language models to extract like taxonomies or try to identify. Of course, it's not will be the final taxonomy, but could help it to extract insights. And it's, it's like a paradox because 
a large language model hallucinates because it does not have a curated uh, knowledge there, but it's also being used as a tool to extract uh, taxonomies and then go to a process of uh, human creating these and using again in new algorithms. So it's just an idea that you can push in the future with partners and I mean, uh, we can be <laughs> a partner for this. So thank you and, and congratulations for the project and for the presentation. Thank you, Diogo, for your question and, and for your proposal of partnership. We will charge you anytime. <laughs> um, at, uh, but, well, I think uh, uh, we are actually um, arriving and reaching the, the limit, the time limit we have for this session. Uh, it's uh, almost 9.30 is the limit we have. Um, we, do we have any, any final comment or question? If not, I'm passing the word to, uh, to, to Jean for Jean to say some final words, and then we can just close the session. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Vinicius. Uh, just uh, a few comments. Uh, just to say thank you. Um, uh, I think we, 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 we get, got a lot of insights for our next step. And uh, and just emphasize that uh, we, we we try to build a library that is just more than a, a, a just more it's more than books. We try to to attend uh, all the, the 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 necessities around the information on internet governance to enable uh, the Brazilian community and others to participate and build internet governance. And we are open um, to collaborations and contributions. So I think it's this. So thank you very much. And we can talk after the session if someone has some question. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Uh, the session is closed. And see you in other sessions in the IGF and other moments. Thank you. Thank you very much. Arigatou gozaimashita. <laughs>